put way too much. This is one of my Insta words. My asthma. <laughs> Welcome to Way's YouTube channel. My name is Chloe Madison. I run a swimwear company called Raya Swim, and I'm going to take you through a day in my life. I'm actually recording this at the end of the day because <laughs> I forgot to do it this morning because I had no brain when I first woke up. So it's going to cut to a pretty horrific clip of me rolling out of bed. We are out of bed. <laughs> I had a little bit of insomnia last night. I was up to like two. So it was a little hard. It's a tough. It was a tough thing, guys. But we're here now. Um. So today I'm going to downtown LA to go to the LA textile trade show so that I can look at some fabrics for my swim line, Raya Swim. Um. First, I'm gonna make a smoothie. I make them in the morning if I don't have coffee. Um. And I'll show you how it's made. As a base. Um, I usually use two things. It's a berry blend, frozen berry. And I'll either use hemp milk. <laughs> Rana, don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my roommate, Brenna, even though she won't be in the frame. Just say hello. Hello. <laughs> so I'll usually use hemp milk, but sometimes the taste can be a little too strong if there's too much of it. And I'll also use almond milk or cashew milk, whatever. Just don't use dairy. I usually go a little bit harder with my skincare, but I got a spray tan yesterday because I had to shoot like summer dresses and my girl's legs were looking pasty. So uh, as you can see, it's still on my face, but it's a different tone and if I continue to like strip it off my face, it's going to result in me having to really kick on makeup. Um, so it seems better for my skin to just to kind of take it easy. I was talking about my favorite moisturizer, or sorry, um, cleanser and it's Aurelia. I got it at the Barney's sale. So it is usually a little pricey, but I tried it. It was so good and so affordable at the time that I went back and I literally bought the rest of the ones that they had, which was only like three. But then I also started getting whatever else they had and I got this exfoliating balm, which is also really amazing. Um, it's probiotic skincare, it's bio-organic, so it's really natural, it doesn't have a lot of chemicals. And when I started using it, my face stayed super clear. Okay, so the next step, is my ice roller. I wake up pretty puffy in the morning. I just kinda go, you always go up. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna come in on the other side. <laughs> Get some lymphatic drainage going. Um, I got a lymphatic drainage facial and she used these two devices on me and I, I took a picture of them and I found one on Amazon that's like 13 bucks. They're battery powered. Um, and they just help drain the lymph system. So I just move it here and then I'll move it down the neck, let it drain. To warm up your lymph system, you can go like this. Uh, at least that's what I learned on YouTube. So could be wrong, but um, I'm kidding myself. I literally cannot multitask like that, so. So for a good moisturizer, I've been getting kind of stuck. I can't find one that's really good for combination skin and also I have like a little dark spot from a pimple I had a while ago and I did some research online and I found that literally those Pons, what's it called, Clarent B3 Dark Correcting Cream had a really good before and afters um, and I haven't gotten, because I'm so particular about skincare, like drugstore or like or Target skincare in a long time because um, it usually breaks me out. but. I've been using it for a couple of days now and it seems to be doing just fine and I know it's like a classic brand so I just do the same thing as before but I can be a little bit more precise with it and then I usually only do this if I'm going on like a date but I have a new, this is for your body, it's like new body, so it's, it's microcurrent and you're supposed to just like go like this. Um, I don't have the smaller one for my face right now, but 
sometimes I'll literally just take like two prongs like it has on the face and go up. So I'll put a little bit more cream because if you don't put cream, <clears throat> it shocks you so bad. So I'll just get the two and then I'll just do a little hold. And then I hear the beep, and then I do another hold. And I'll do this like for five or ten minutes if I'm going somewhere specific. Um, but I really want to look my best. But if you can see like the way that it raises is crazy just after one hold. The process for makeup for me right now is a little bit lengthier because of the spray tan. My usual go-to is this stuff from Glossier, the Skin Perfecting Tint, but it doesn't match me right now. So I'm using It Cosmetics CC Cream. And then most importantly, I'm gonna apply sunscreen first. I like the Invisible Shield from Glossier because it doesn't affect your makeup, but I will say it does have a chemical in it that if you wear it into the ocean, destroys the coral reefs. So don't wear this to the beach, but it's good for every day. I put way too much. I need both my hands, you guys. This is looking tragic. Nobody tells you how hard it is to do YouTube, so you're trying to do YouTube. Okay, so I just kind of like to make it a thin layer. So I'm gonna spread it out as much as I can. I like when you can see my freckles. Okay, seems even. A lot thicker than I would have liked, but it's what it is. I don't know, at trade shows I like to feel confident. I'm usually one of the youngest people there and it's hard to get the older people that have been doing this for years to take you seriously as a buyer. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna do my makeup and make sure I feel really confident. But first of all, I need to brush our teeth. I can't with this angle. It's making me so mad. So I guess I should tell you a little bit about my company while I do this. Um, I launched a swimwear company when I was 21. I just have always been really passionate about design and fashion and love to sew. I used to work in production and I um, used to act, but I just wanted something I could be in control of and I got a little frustrated like working on set with older men all the time that didn't take me seriously um, or would make like unprofessional comments and then like, hit on me. And as a creative outlet, so I didn't lose my mind, I started sketching. And then before I knew it, I had like a full collection going and then I was like, hmm, I wonder what it would look like if I made one of these. So I found a pattern maker and then I found a manufacturer and then I made like a name and a logo and a box and tags and an LLC. And then I was like, okay, I have a company. Um, and I launched it and I quit my job full time and was just like trying to do what I could with Raya. That's what it's called, Raya. Um, and I chose not to Photoshop the models, the e-commerce models who were actually myself and my best friend, Kareem. And I was like, you know what we're gonna do? She's actually a model. Um, is we're gonna shoot both of us and we're just gonna crop it from like here to here. So you can't, I don't know, tell that it's us. And when I got the photos back from retouching, they were so photoshopped that I didn't know whose body was hers and whose body was mine. And she is like a completely different skin tone than I am. Like I was just really taken aback and it, I felt firsthand what it feels like to have somebody change your body to their specifications. And I was like, okay, no, take all this off um, and just, I'll put it up live. So I uploaded the pictures without any Photoshop. Um, and then later on, like a few months later, the media kind of took note of that and Rayo went viral for that. And I started getting a lot of emails from women about what it meant just to see other women with stretch marks on their bodies on an e-commerce website. And I was like, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish up my makeup. I'm just gonna do some light eye makeup and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I do my hair. So I recently got the Dyson Air Wrap. Let me show you how it comes. It comes like this. It is the best thing ever. It made me hate going to dry bar. Like it is fantastic. 
I look like I have a blowout all the time because I give myself a blowout all the time because it's so easy. So what I usually do, and I usually do this with soaking wet hair, but I've done it a couple times with dry and it works just as well. I just realized that my video stopped because I was out of space. But what I've been doing is I've been taking this directly onto my dry hair. I'm just like holding it up. It wraps. I just hold it for like three or four seconds. And then I hit it with a cool blast of air to set the curl. And I'll turn it off. Let's go. I'm gonna just take some of the texturizing spray. It smells so good. And just put it around and kind of piece it out. I'm gonna finish it with this rose oil spray, and I love or it's not really a spray, it's oil. Um I love this stuff because I use it on my body, like I dry brush with it when I don't have a tan. And it's really cute too if you're gonna go like have a pool day or something. I put it on my collarbone. It just gives you like a little little glimmer, a little shine. Now I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna get a car and we're gonna go because we are late. So the trade show, I'm really just looking for if I want to dive into patterns because I've only ever done solid colors. I've done like a, a light blush pink, black and white. And that's kind of like a staple of Raya, but I want to look into textures. I really want to look into eco-friendly recycled fabric. I found a couple, but it's hard to find some that are as soft, um, but that's really important to me. So that's the number one thing on my list. I'm going to make a quick pit stop because it's right by the freeway entrance to literally like a Marshalls or something and run in and get one of those things that you stick on your dash so that I'm not doing this in driving. I was trying to make this quick and then I found these Gucci shoes that literally match my outfit. I didn't get the Gucci shoes because <laughs> I'm practicing self control, but they literally matched my outfit to a T and I want to cry a little bit, but I got this. Whew. That was an exercise of willpower, guys. Okay, so after I run around the marketplace, I have a meeting at Soho Warehouse, which is like right next to... Go, you... I don't have road rage, I promise. Already got lost. So these are all swim options. So I found a couple of really good sustainable options so far and I've been here for like 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm done with the textile show. Um, I found a lot of really soft, good materials. I have like a little folder over here that are recycled, which I'm really excited about. I found some stuff if I wanted to do like cover-ups or outerwear. And now, most importantly, I have found pasta. <laughs> and it's actually this look really cute. Okay, so I was supposed to go to Soho Warehouse for a meeting, but now I'm going to Soho Reho for a meeting. So I'm not gonna hang out in downtown anymore. I'm gonna head back. So, wait, I wanna show you some of the fabric. I oh, got this red light, for instance. What is this? It's super soft and ribbed. And recycle. I'm so happy with today. I met so many nice people. Um, usually trade shows are kind of intimidating and people are a little bit offstandish or shy and today everybody was so outgoing. I made friends. Like I had a good time um, and that might be the first one of many that I've been to that I feel super happy with. I don't know, just the vibe. It's a good vibe. All right, so we're actually passing the exit for my apartment. So I think I'm gonna stop at home and touch up really quick because my hair just got a little crazy with the top down. I wonder if I can just, this whole time, who needs 
tripod and you have a picture frame. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with this dry shampoo because this is like a two day old blowout. Like down. Just give it some, some life. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to do this and I did it this morning, but I am putting the volume spray right back in it. I think mainly just because it smells so good. I'm gonna go back to it. This time I'm actually gonna change the attachment to the brush. Coming from this direction so that I'm not pressing it down to my head and losing all the volume. A little bit more texture spray and toward the top. This is one of my inspo boards. It's got Rhea and Swords Illustrated and this recent photo shade of Rhea and just a bunch of like vintage. I think I want to say that's Chanel, but it's not. I don't know what it is. More Rhea um, and just a lot of different tops and like old Hollywood or Tran things that. I find to be inspiring. Wait, the sunset is so pretty. Sometimes I go up on my roof. This is a workout. I don't know if I should have put myself through this. Okay. Okay, it is so pretty up here. My asthma, <laughs> my asthma's not happy that I just did this. Actually, I'm supposed to get content in this outfit for Forever 21, so I think I might set up my phone somehow. Okay, got my self timer, model, modeling influence, whatever that was, content for forever. And now I'm rushing so I'm not late to this meeting. I made it, parked on the street, so I have to go um, I am about to go upstairs and I can't film once I'm up there. So I will see you guys when I'm out. Okay, I didn't wind up filming anything on the way home because halfway through the meeting, I realized that I had parked in a spot where I was about to get towed. So I had to literally run out. I just got home. Um, the meeting went well aside from that. And yeah, I am gonna change. I'm gonna go hang out with someone I like and that's it for now, guys. That is a day in the life. <laughs> Thank you for spending the day with me and watching Way's YouTube channel. So like and subscribe for more content like this.